I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you. This is what I'm saying. This one is the line. I don't know what this line is all about anyway. This line is just the first line that you pass. Then before they will not allow you to get into the second line. So this is just it. So you just wait on, on this line. After this line, now go to the second one. So the reason why I'm just covering this today is just that the situation after this um, virus thing is um, it's just really going to be too bad for everybody. Okay? The measures they are taking just to avoid is just too bad. Now look at what I'm saying to you guys. This was the first line I was standing. This guy on white they are seeing now there, there was the one that asked me for my code and I wasn't able to show them anything of, of that nature. So I was asked to come to this line where I'm standing right now. So it was soon get to my, to my own turn. I don't know, look at the people now. You see there, there, was, there is another line that leading to where the white, the guy on white is. So you show them the code before they can allow you. If you don't have that code, you stand where I'm standing right now. So why I'm sharing this to you with you guys, just because the situation of things right now is not going to look like what it used to be. And everybody was really doing whatever they were doing before. But now the measures they are taking is just really one wherever you are, you're welcome again to our channel. This is Emerald Listed TV for those that are just joining us. You're very much welcome. This is the place to be. So please, if you've not yet subscribed to this channel, please help us to subscribe to this channel, okay? And when you do, don't forget to click on the notification sign button. That's the bell sign button. That is where you're going to get new uploads. Wherever you're uploading new videos, you'll be notified. So today, let's get you started. And please, I will not forget, for those that already have subscribed to this channel that keep coming to join us to know what we have, you all are just more than the breast. I don't even know the right category of words to use for you guys. You're just the breast. So today, let's just go straight to our topic. You already have known through the title of this um, video today, we are discussing things that relate to this pandemic, what happens life after this pandemic. So that's what we're going to be discussing today. And it's something that affects both young and old. Our kids are all back home because of this pandemic, because of these viral diseases that are everywhere. So there is nobody that is not affected with this virus. And the reason of me bringing out this topic today was um, I was back in my house because now we are on lockdown, okay? Everybody know that. And I was just peeping through my window and I was just seeing people that are passing, are uh, people that are having masks, everybody, they're all having masks, just like we are aliens, like, I don't know, like we are stranger in this world, like, Think just how did we come this far? How did we get here? Okay, I was looking at everybody. There is nobody that passed because here where I live, it's already um, a mandatory uh, thing that if you don't put on the mask, you will be fined for it. It's a fine. There is a fine. Okay, so I was just looking at people passing by through my window. I was seeing everybody, they are all on their mask. When you go out, you're not comfortable anymore the way you used to be comfortable. Like when you go out, you breathe fresh fresh air, you you have conducive environment to you know to relate with yourself or relate with people. And I'm keep thinking after I finish watching that ep episode, okay, by the way, no side, and I was thinking with Tina, I was like, is this what life will now look like? Is this what um will now be experiencing that you will not be free the way you used to uh be free you go out you do whatever you like but i'm going to leave a clip anyway i'll try and leave a clip here about the situation i captured when i went out some days back you know i got to the grocery shop i said okay let me just get one of those things and it was a very very hectic situation okay very hectic because um, the procedures before you get attended so before you get into the um, grocery shop or supermarket to get whatever you want to get you'll be checked you will go through thorough examination the time wasted you will stay at the line before you get to your turn they will have to do cross examination do a thorough checkup of you whether you have the disease you don't have it so i was not thinking within me when i'm I've done covering that. I got home. I was pondering with him. What would now look? What would life life now look like? Is this the shape of what this world has turned to? When you go out, you are not free to shake people. 
the way you used to attend visitors like you at your at entertain visitors to your home these days as they are coming in you are scared you don't know if they have the disease and even if they are coming in the first thing they do even if at all they forget you are the one that have to tell them first please go to the washroom and go and wash your hands so i was not like is this what this world is this what it will not look like for us presently our kids we know they are back home very well and that is true when they resume school back to school how will it how would it now look like for them we their parents their mothers their wards will leave our kids to go to school you're scared of them when at home you don't know um people they're gonna be missing up with um uh, in school you don't know the kids they're gonna be hanging out with you don't know the people that are going to prepare their meals you don't know the water they're going to drink you don't know who's going to embrace them you don't know who's going to because you're not there because our kids are not going to remain back home. The time will come when they will resume. Okay, that aside, what about in church? <laughs> that is just the most funniest part. I was not thinking, I like, I was pondering, like, when we not get to church before you get there, because we know in some parts of the places churches have resumed, okay, but um, not so much, they don't encourage much crowd. And I was not thinking, I said, what about those churches that have? You know, high amount, um, high amount of people or multiple amount of people, the crowd and they log on each other. That means this, um, you know, they are not going to be gathering again in churches. Okay, now when you get when you are going to church, you have to put on your mask, and you get to church and they are, gi are giving songs and praise and worship, and you can't, um, you can't, you can't sing properly. You'll be stalked. Your nose has stopped. You can't, you know, um, freely praise God without sweating, without being entangled with anything. So, uh, I was not like, is this what it's going to look like now? When you get to church, you can't do handshake like, you know, we always do holy keys, holy greetings to people in the middle of the service. They always say, okay, greet each other and you want to you stretch your hand to shake the other of your um, you know, brethren. And you are scared of doing that because you don't know who is having the virus. And even after you're finished doing that, immediately you are having that precautionary measures. You are rushing to the um, washroom to go and wash your hands. I was not thinking, is this what life will now continue to look like for us? When you are going to for, so, to some shop to get things that you want or whatever places where you want to get anything or purchase anything you would have to stand on the line because um the social distancing is that is still existing now and before you be attended to you know it's frustrating it's so frustrating there is nobody that is not being affected with this situation a lot of people have lost that job oh my god they've lost their jobs a lot of people invested in a very big amount of money to their, uh, you know, the businesses that they, they are running and their, their companies and everything is just lost. People really are, you know, being affected, still being affected, even um, after they've asked us, okay, we are not, like now, I don't know how other cities or places or countries are, but where I live, they've taken a lot, a little of the, um, you know, stress of us that we can go out you can get anything, but the social distancing still exists. The wearing of masks still exists. But now, when you are going out, you have to um, be careful. You have to, not, you know, you don't have to be freely, you know, I know, relating with um, with people or doing anything that you feel that you used to do before. Um, that everything has really come a bit of uh, not so much like what it was like when we started. So I was not thinking within me. Is this what life will now look after this um, pandemic? Okay, now they've asked us to return back to our normal activities. You can't go to oh my god, this time I keep thinking of this. You can't go to the super uh, to um to where is where you buy your clothes. Okay, you, you you are buying the clothes. You are you are thinking will this clothes have this um disease or maybe when you are because now I know. People don't, um, you know, ship goods. They don't, um, you know, the way it used to be. Like, for instance, you buy online. Most of us, we buy things online. You are scared of what you buy online. If what you are buying online is safe, you are scared. You are opening it. God, it's so, it's so, you know, discomforting. You are opening what you, you got online. You are wearing your hand uh, um, gloves. 
you are scared, you are thinking opening it, you're just like even what you know you got with your money, you're scared of opening it. Okay, so this is the extent of the effect of what this pandemic has caused. We cannot even expatiate more of what this pandemic has cost us. Okay, but the only thing I have to say here is that we shouldn't be scared because scientists, okay, uh, people that are uh, medical practitioners, they've tried their best to see how they can elevate these situations, but nothing seems to work out. So that is why I have to encourage you that the best thing that you have to do for yourself right now is to depend on God. He's the only one that can take care of this situation. He's just the only one that you know that can do this because he's the one that creates and he knows how to, you know, make it look, you know, easy for us. Okay, so when you are going out, I know you'll be scared. I know you'll be taking some measures. But please, when everything returns back to normal, just as it is right now, at least a bit of um the uh, you know freelance uh, or whatever has been taken away but you are going out you still have to still be careful but when you are going out don't be afraid don't be scared it's just what we find ourselves in there is nothing we can do about that it has happened it has happened a lot of people even, i can't even say enough of what people have experienced a lot of people have experienced deaths in their families a lot of people are staying in the hospitals a lot of people their lives was lost you know, goods and uh, services, the way um, freely it was going, wasn't, it's not what it is right now. But it shouldn't make you to give up wherever you are. You have to be praying to God when you are going out, your case, even if at all the school um, resumes and everything resumes normal, just be safe, okay? Don't be scared. Keep praying to God. Just tell God to cover you, keep you, and preserve you. You will go out safely and you're going to come back home. So... That is just what I have to leave with you guys. Don't just feel that you are uh, as being exposed, that you don't even know if you're going to catch this disease. Remove fear from you. It has happened and this is just what we have found ourselves in. Be strong and keep moving on. Just like I said, I'm going to leave the clip of the situation I saw. Okay, I captured it and that's why and the reason why I'm doing today's video. So I love you guys. I love you so much. Continue to be safe. You are protected. Don't tell yourself you're alone in this. Pray to God. We're going to meet on the next one. Until then, bye.